All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zenokilla. I am here with Lonely Zealot for our presentation of The Ghosts of Tarsonis, the Art of Warfare community alternate reality game presented by The Art of Warfare. Uh, our map is GSL Terminus. It's going to be a Zerg vs. Protoss. And we're just going to load this up here and go to town. Now, can you spawn close pawn on Terminus or no? Um, I don't think so. Uh, GSL does not usually let you spawn close spawns. Right, because I know in the usually. the regular version, uh, the Blizzard version, I should say, you could definitely spawn close spawn. That. Yeah, in this one, I I think that's what they change. And oh, do maybe not? They are close spawns, or are they? Yeah, that's close spawn. Yeah. So I wonder what they changed. They probably changed like uh, expansions or ramps or something. Yep. All right. So you want to kick it off here? Sure. In the uh, six o'clock, we have our red zerg paveway, and sitting at three o'clock, we have our purple protoss darken hero. Nice. I love I love Protoss and purple. It always looks so uh, elegant. I guess they look they look royal, don't they? I mean, royal purple. I'm pretty sure they yeah. make motor oil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a pylon. Yeah, he's gonna wall off here. So uh, it's pretty standard Protoss versus Zerg. Yep. Uh, we have the Overlord moving over behind the Protoss' base. Zerg Airways. Um, usually... <laughs> Zerg Airways. Thank you for flying Zerg Airways. <laughs> you are now Enjoy one of us. <laughs> Enjoy your stay at Terminus SE. Yeah, I will. But uh, that's, it's, it's really helpful, especially in ZVP, to have your Overlord by their base, so at about 7 minutes, 30 seconds, 8 minutes, you can, you can just fly them right in there to see what they're doing. Uh, it, it, it's the best scout, as I've said before. I would gladly trade 100 minerals for... Oh, full view know, of the enemy base? Forget about it. Right? So we can see that we've got, uh, as you mentioned before, the 14 gas, 14 pool by Mr. Paveway. Very standard build. Ooh, proxy Ooh, pylon. Have a, yeah, is he trying to... I don't know, trying to fake a cannon rush there or what? Uh, I don't know. I think he's just trying to distract... Uh, I think he's just trying to distract him. So he's going to have to spend time destroying that. But there's no way two little drones will be able to take that pylon out. So if he's really quick about it, he might be able to warp in one unit before that pylon's destroyed. But we can already see oh, two... You... No, I'm sorry to interrupt. No, I was just going to say uh, we've got two... Zerglings in production, so that'll be able to take care of that with no problem. Yeah, that's a that's what I was gonna say. You know, when when they drop fourteen fourteen, they're gonna have the lings out there, so it's not gonna take away from. I mean, I guess it could take away from harassment. Maybe they have to create a couple more lings, which stops your droning. Right. But um, I mean, he's not gonna be able to warp in there for a while until at least you know six minutes. So exactly. I I, I really don't understand that uh, that move there, but. Uh, he did it, and it is a little distraction. So, um, you know, he's he's not going to be able to run into his base with those two lings, which he probably would have gotten to his base before that that uh, zealot came out. So, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, Darken has not thrown down another gateway. You'd think he'd seen a gateway or another building by now, but he's kind of holding on. Oh, there we go. Now he's where's that warp gate? Ah, oh, there it is. He's putting down the... Yeah, there we go. He's dropping three more. So it looks like we're going to see a four-gate opening for Mr. Hero. Yep, and Hero... I don't think he's... He's not chronoing out his warp gate, so... Uh, saving that energy for something, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what he's uh, spending the energy on, but we can see that Paveway has grabbed his natural expansion... That's pretty let's, standard by Paveway. Let's see the drone count. It's, you know, they're actually about equal, 24 each, approximately. There the chrono is, so. Oh, what did he chrono boost? Uh, he chrono boosted his warp gate out. Ah, uh, yeah, he's trying to get warp gate. Because you should have the warp gate by the time all four of your... No, he's going to be in a little bit of trouble there. He's got one zealot. 
against, well, actually not too much trouble. Two Zerglings aren't a big deal, especially with that Sentry coming out. <laughs> you lagged out on us there for a second. I'm sorry. It happens. But next time, we cut off a finger. <laughs> so it looks like uh, the warp gets taking a little bit longer to research than it normally would, because he should be warping guys out by now. Because if he doesn't yeah, start not... putting units up, he's going to be at a disadvantage. We can already see spine crawlers coming out for defense, and we've got a whole bunch of zerglings. So I think Paveway is pulling a little bit ahead, but with a warp gate technology and four gates, Darken Hero should be able to match that. Yeah, Darkin's a little off on his timing. He's a little off on his chrono boosts. Um, I don't understand why Paveway didn't move those links. Like, usually when you have your links uh, attacking... Hey, guys, I'm going to cast you guys now. Usually when you have your links attacking that, that gateway, uh, you... Usually when you have your links attack that gateway, you... Uh, you're trying to draw that zealot off of his post. You know, you're trying to, you're trying to pull him off of... Uh, uh, hold position. So, for him to just sit there and let them die, it, it didn't make a lot of sense. He just wasted minerals there. Exactly. He didn't gain anything from having those guys die. Nope. Oh, well. Now we see he's got his force out. He's going to grab his expansion, which will put him equal. And in terms of army composition, we got roaches on the map, and we see a robotics bay coming down. So what do you think? He's going to go Colossus, or maybe Immortals to try to counter the roaches? Uh, with the Robo, well, he is going Roach, but uh, Darkin does not know that yet, but he right. can pretty much guess that it's either going to be Roach or Ling Muta. Um, oh. he's going to get out his first Immortal here. Uh, you're probably going to see him go Colossus, though. I mean... You think so? Especially a, on a map like this. Map. Yeah, it's a big map. I mean, it, it's a long run from base to base, even at close positions. So, uh... I mean, Colossus would definitely be his best bet unless he's going to go into uh, Stargate play, but that, that obviously is not happening. So uh looks like he's going to go into four gate Colossus off of two base. Yeah, but he's about to face a little bit of an attack by Paveway. I have to compliment Paveway on his excellent creep spread. He's got a nice little highway working its way over to his base, and we're going to see a little bit of an engagement here. we got sentries. Maybe we can throw out some force field, trap some of those lings. Yep, he completely blocks off the roaches. we able to pick lings off with no problem. Nice. <laughs> you got to stop lagging, dude. Yeah, it was a... It was a I, I can't help it. I'm sorry. My it's fine. Crying. No, it's, it's fine. But it was... Yeah, but this pave, Paveway's attack is about to fall apart. Come on, man. It's not fine. Anyway, Paveway's attack is still falling apart. He's yeah, actually he gonna didn't lose that at all. He's going to lose everything, which is going to be devastating. Yeah. Because Dark and Hero... You could... can't just throw those... You can't just throw those uh, those roaches at like that. You you have to micro those roaches against the zealots, especially with stalkers and an immortal behind them. You exactly. can't just throw them up there. Because, uh, believe it or not... Zealots counter roaches that aren't micro. Exactly. Because they just stand there and spit. Yeah. And the zealots will tear through them. Exactly. Yeah, so if Darken Hero does a counterattack here, he should have no problem except for the spine crawlers there getting into the base and doing some damage. Yeah, the spine crawlers are going to be an issue, but uh, Paypoint doesn't really have a lot to defend this. Mm hmm. So we can see and a little those bit. Those immortals of... are going to tear through those spines. Easy. Yep. We noticed uh, Dark and Hero isn't actually producing anything at the moment, so that's something he's going to have to watch. You know, even though he's moving his army, he's still got to work on his base. He's he's, gotta... I think he's waiting for his gas, for his for his uh, Colossus to come out. But he got the gas and didn't put out the Colossus. So uh, hmm. a little bit of downtime for. Uh, yeah, <laughs> for dark in here, maybe a little sandwich, a uh, <laughs> little, little bit of Pepsi, I don't know. Yeah, and he should definitely have more than four gates at this stage in the game. But it was nice, though, he picked off that overseer supply blocking paveway, so he's going to have to spend a little time doing that out. We see the rocks are coming down, so we'll see paveway maybe try to grab his third. The middle is sort of going back and forth, both players uh, trading off that Zelnaga tower. We see Blink coming in, which is going to be wonderful, and one 
Colossus coming on the board. Yep, and we got uh, Zerg Missile Attack level 2, so uh, that's going to be pretty powerful for those roaches. And uh, with a Colossus half done, uh, I, I, I don't know, this 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 uh, force from Darken is looking huh. pretty good with the blink. But um, if uh, Paveway can get a lot of roaches out here with that plus 2, it's, it's, it's going to be pretty detrimental. Yeah, in terms of harvesters, it's uh, 47 for our Zerg player and 42 for our Protoss player. Yeah, and a Spire goes down. Yeah. So it, looks, it looks like he's going to try to do some sort of Zerg swarm death ball, maybe attack, you know, hit the mineral line from behind with his air units and then push in with his ground units. He's got the Overseer there, which is nice. It'll give him a little bit more vision. And we can see that Darkin is taking his third base. And he's about to do a very good job. Those Zerg units ran in there, said, uh-oh, and then just ran right back out. I'm surprised he's not building more Colossus, though. He really, he's he going to need more than one. He does not want to move into that army. No. Yeah, he is going to need more than one. And that, that, Zerg, that Zerg army does not want to go head-to-head -head with, with that Colossus and that Immortal and that many, uh, that many Zealots. Yeah, we can see that he's dropping another three gateways, which would bring his total up to seven. So both guys are going to sit back, play a little bit of a macro game. Paveway's grabbed his third base because, well, if you're a Zerg, you actually want to try to be a base ahead. Yep. So he's just kind of but, chilling, uh, holding the middle of the map. Uh, Paveway's this army's... Go ahead. Paveway's spreading his creep. I was just going to point that out. And actually, in terms of Looking... supply, Paveway's ahead uh, by a little bit. No, I... Whenever I try to talk, I lag. <laughs> That's rough, dude. I know. I'm going to go throw my computer out a window after this. <laughs> but, um, uh, Darkin, oh, I was, as I say it, I was going to say he's not turning these uh, gateways at his natural into warp gates, but there they go. And uh, his, his army's looking pretty good. He needs some more Colossus, so uh, three, four Colossus would just crush this Zerg army. Oh, yeah, it'd vacuum them up. And now we can see yep. investors. So we might see him try to. Uh, we might see Paveway try to neural parasite Dark and Hero. And in terms of food right now, Paveway is about twenty ahead, which is definitely something the Zerg want to be because they're able to reproduce units at an amazing speed. Yep, but we uh, if we look at worker count here, it's forty six drones to sixty uh, to sixty uh, probes here. So. Uh, Darkin's definitely ahead in the economy count, but um, uh, you know, Paveway's not counted out yet. Those Infestors, you know, are worth their weight in gold, and with these Corruptors, those uh, those Colossus, if the Corruptors are used right, are going to go down pretty quickly. Yep. So we can see Darkin here is moving out towards the middle of the map. Uh, he might be able to corner the Zerg army in one of these little areas here, depending. Because, did Blink finish? Yes, it did. So he might be able to Blink ahead. Oh, he gets a little bit of that nasty, nasty infested juice. Gotta watch those fungals. So now they're both sort of dancing around each other in the middle of the map. We can see that Paveway has got his army spread up into three sort of separate control groups, which is always nice to see. And they're actually, they're both getting pretty close to max. Yeah, and uh, already this is the longest game that we've had casted tonight, so uh, I'm pretty excited. Exactly. Both players are about to hit the supply limit, so let's see what they're going to do. Uh, just upgrades are good. We can see he's going into hive hatcheries. I noticed he built the spire, but I don't think he built anything with it. Or maybe it's just, just the corruptors. Just the corruptors. Just okay. the corruptors for those for those colossus, yeah. And uh, dark in here going for charge. So those zealots are going to be worth their weight in gold against these lings. And yeah. uh, you can't really micro against uh, charge lots, but those infestors will be able to fungal them. So that's pretty good. Throw the AEPM meter on their paveway. Pounding furious with it weighs his keyboard at 150 actions per minute. Dark and, you know, going back and forth. Wow, he spiked up to, you know, two, three hundred actions as we're about to see this large engagement in the middle. Fungals going off, causing a lot of damage. Unfortunately, those zealots, 
they're stuck in the middle. They can't really move around all that much. They really need to be at the front to make use of their speed. Well, their speed actually. Yeah, isn't he's there not yet. managing. He's not managing his uh, army position very well because those zealots need to be up in front of the army so they can instantly charge in yeah. and uh, get some force fields behind the units, and you're just gonna demolish with a little blink. Uh, but. Um, Right now, as it is, those zealots are not going to be doing anything, especially with those fungals. And down goes the Colossus. Here goes the engagement in the middle of the map here. Nice force fields. Yeah, the force fields spooling up the Colossus roaches down. a little bit. Oh, Burrow. But he has no observer, so... Uh, yeah, his <laughs> sentries are dead. Like oh, that poor stalker Ooh, nice. was just standing there and the whole ground opened up. So this, this is going to be tough for Darkin here to come back from. Yep, and Darkin's army goes bye-bye. So uh, Payboy's going to move in here, and he can take out uh, anything he wants. He, he has free reign on this Protoss base. Yep. And he's moving in with the Roaches. He's going to confront these Stalkers here. Some Blink Micro, but uh, the Roaches back off and say, I will come get you later. And here, oh, yeah, they're coming back in. Uh, if I was him, I would go and take out that third. Yeah, well, I oh, think no, Paveway's yeah. just going to be able to steamroll here. Right now, it's, you know, yeah. 56 roaches versus nothing. So it looks like Paveway's going to be able to roll his way through here, and Dark and Hero calls GG. Not a bad way to end the evening. No, that was, that was a good game. I like that. I, I, I did not expect it to go the way it did. Yeah, Darken Hero had an advantage. He had a better economy. He got his third down first. But I just, I don't think he built a big enough army. And you can't, see, the problem with Zerg is that you can wipe out their army and then two minutes later you'll be facing their army again. So you have to attack the production. He could have built, you know, a couple phoenixes, done a little bit of harassing there. But you can't just mass up a large army and expect to roll over a, Zer a qualified Zerg player like that. No, uh, you know, he, he was ahead, but he made some mistakes, and he got punished for it. Yep, these things happen. They sure do. So is that it for the night? I believe that was...